Hey guys, welcome to my Sephora recommendations video. Now I actually filmed this with me on screen and it got really long winded and I like was really low energy because I had so many things on my Sephora loves list. Now this was prior to me placing my Sephora friends and family sale order. So I decided since I really liked this format of video that I was going to film my screen instead. So here goes nothing. Now I have since refined my Sephora loves list. So I'm going to show you guys everything that's on my current list as well as I do have some other videos in relation to the Sephora VIB sale. I have my recommendations video. I also have a video that shows me going back to my April VIB sale haul and talking about the products I picked up during that sale. And I also will be uploading my friends and family haul next. That's going to be my next video on that on my channel. So if you guys are interested in all of that, definitely subscribe down below. I also have an active giveaway for the month of November. I'm giving away a ColourPop X My Little Pony palette and the link for that video is also listed in the description box. So without further blabbering, let's get into our shopping. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is Ebates. As you guys can see, Ebates is doing 4% cash back on Sephora.com right now. So I have the button that is part of the browser installed. So it reminds me every time to use my Ebates. And what I do is I just hit activate this button and it'll make sure that I get credit for the order. Since we're not doing that right now, let's not worry about it. So this is my second page of my loves list, and we're just gonna start from the bottom here. So the first item is the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I've heard a lot of really good things about this product. I haven't tried a whole lot from the brand Drunk Elephant, um, but I'm so, so curious to try some new things from them. It's just that I feel like right now with all my Sunday Riley face oils and stuff, I'm really not in the market for any drunk elephant or any skincare products. So I don't think I'll be picking this one up during the sale, but I've heard it's really good. This uh, diamond foot buffer was a recommendation from Makeup Geek. She talked about it in one of her like favorites videos. I can't believe this thing is $50. I'm really tempted to get it because I have really dry feet. But I'm also like, do I really need this? Because I get pedicures every month at least. And it's like, do I really want to spend $50 on a foot buffer? Or should I just spend it on a pedicure? So that's something I'm always debating about. It's been on my loves list for quite some time. Also keeping with my foot theme... These are the Sephora Collection Foot Masks. I really like these. I always pick them up when I can get them on sale, and then I just use them throughout the year. They're a great way to keep my feet hydrated, and as you can see, they're basically disposable socks, and they soak your feet in a rich formula, and I usually like to wear them overnight, so I feel like it really definitely hydrates my feet. Um, this brand, Herbivore, is one I'm really curious about. I've never tried anything from them, and... I would like a mask that illuminates, energizes, and exfoliates my skin and gives it a fresh new glow. So that's definitely something I'm interested in. I'm not sure if I'll pick it up this round of the VIB sale just because I have so many masks, especially sheet masks. So I think I might hold off on this because I really don't need to drop $48 on a face mask. Same with their Coco Rose Coconut Oil Lip Conditioner. I still have a few lip conditioners and lip balms that I want to finish up so I don't think this is the time. I love anything coconut which is why this is on my list but I don't think I will be purchasing that. I have two foundations from Becca, the Becca Eva Matte Shine Proof Foundation. I love matte foundations and I'm just curious to try this one out. I don't know if I will pick this up but I did pick up the Ultimate Coverage Foundation during the friends and family sale. Unfortunately, the color I picked up is too light for me. So I'm considering getting a different shade in the VIB sale. I'm just not sure. I could go get color match, but I'm kind of lazy and I really don't need another foundation. 
but we'll see. I've heard really good things about it. I love full coverage foundations. So if you guys have tried this foundation, definitely let me know. This Makeup Forever Aqua Seal has been here for a while. This is basically any um, a liquid converter that transforms powder formulas and pencils into smudge-proof, long-lasting makeup. I believe Inglot's Duraline kind of does the same thing. I have Duraline, and I rarely, next to never, use it. So I won't be buying this, but sometimes I just put things on my loves list just so it's on my radar so I can go back and look at it. This Makeup Forever Mist and Fix had a huge moment, um, was it last year, and everyone was using this, and it was kind of a big deal, but I don't know, I'm just like, my makeup collection is just so full of these like fixing and setting sprays that I don't really feel the need to get one. Plus, this is kind of pricey, I mean, it's 30 bucks, so I'm not foreseeing me picking that up. I did get a really small little kit of these Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains and the full size is $14. That set I got was $12 for really small mini sizes. I got four shades and the formula was so, so comfortable that I decided I wanted to pick up more during the, during the VIB sale. So I'm really excited for that. I was on a hunt for an eye cream in like September which is how this ended up on my love list, but I ended up going with the Drunk Elephant eye cream, so I'm not planning on picking up this You to the People Age Prevention Superfood eye cream. I do have their kale, spinach, and whatever um, face wash that I really like, and I think this brand is pretty good. Their stuff isn't very harsh, and it's like very natural feeling, so I would recommend the face wash for sure. I mentioned it in my haul revisited video, uh, but I don't think I'm planning on getting really any skincare during the sale. Um, I th I saw this Caudalie Grape Water Spray in a Sephora YouTube video, and it looked really interesting. It was like something they recommended for hydration, um, but again, I just don't see myself picking that up. I've heard really, really good things about this Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream, um, but again, I won't be picking that up. I'm really curious to try the Sephora Collection Moisture Shower Oil. Sounds like a fun product. I'm always looking for more hydration. So this just sounded really interesting and it's a really good price point so I might do that. I really want to have all of the Sunday Riley face oils. So I have the UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil on here. I already have her Juno oil as well as the Luna oil, but this one is a quick, a quick absorbing medicated dry oil to clear congested pores, treat and prevent acne and smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for clearer, smoother skin. And I would check all of those boxes. Like I'm interested in all of that. So I think since it is the time of the sale, I may pick that up. I've heard this Josie Marin Argan Infinity Cream Intensive Creamy Oil is really, 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 really hydrating. But honestly, I feel like Josie Marin's products are so full of argan oil. And for some reason, they don't soak into my skin. So it just leaves an oily, hot mess on my skin. So I'm planning on not picking that up. But I put it on my list because I keep thinking that I might pick this up to use on my feet. But... So far, I have not leaned in any direction of doing that. These Jo Malone fragrances, I really want to try something from Jo Malone, but I've never actually smelt his fragrances, so I don't know what to get. I'm really into fresh scents, so I've been reading the notes and things like that, but it's so hard to figure out which one to get. So if you guys have any opinions, let me know. I'm really into fresh scents. I like things like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, Versace Bright Crystal. I just got the Chanel Chance Perfume in the green bottle. I also really like the Moschino fragrance that came in the Bear uh, packaging. So those are kind of the fragrances I'm into right now. So let me know if you know if either of these will work for me or if I should like avoid them. Um, Pharmacy is also one of those brands I really want to try as far as skincare, but I don't think I'll be getting anything from them. Um, this is another Youth of the People Age Prevention Superfood Cream. Um, maybe one day when I run out of my Sunday Riley oils, but right now I'm so good as far as 
skincare that I don't really foresee myself picking that up. I was maybe considering getting the Sephora Collection House of Lashes eyelash adhesive, but I don't really need it. I have a bunch of the drugstore lash glue. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head right now, but I have a ton of that, so I probably don't need this. I'm just going to take it off my loves list so I can forget about it. This is the Murad Hydrating Toner. I was on a hunt for toner too a while ago, but I really don't need that, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off my list as well. Um, I've always heard Casey Holmes say really good things about the NARS Pro Primer Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I keep meaning to want to try it, but I have pretty much a ton of soft ochre left and then I just bought a new paint pot as well so I really don't see myself buying another eyeshadow base right now. I did make a video about my makeup addiction and one of my goals for 2017, 2018 is to just kind of use up some of the products I have. I definitely will still purchase things that are new because I obviously want to review things but I'm also like sick of having like excessive multiple amounts of things like I only need one black eyeliner but somehow I have like four in my rotation so because of that reason even though I've heard really good things about it I'm gonna not be purchasing this right now if I need one in the future maybe that's the one I'll try next my friend Nisha said this smells amazing and again like I said I'm a sucker for coconut so I really want to pick it up, but I don't really need it at this time, so I won't be doing that. This Dr. Doctor Jar Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, I don't really know why I put this on here. It must have been in like some recommendation situation, but I'm not going to be picking it up. Um, I already talked to you guys about these cream lip set and liquid lipsticks. Honestly, this formula is amazing. It's so freaking comfortable. Like I've heard people say that. And I still was like, no, I don't need any more liquid lipsticks. But until I tried the formula, I really didn't see the hype. But now that I've tried the formula, I honestly think it's totally worth it. And you, you guys are on the market for some liquid lipsticks. This is definitely the way, the way to go. Here is another setting spray that I don't need to be buying. So I'm just going to take that off my list. This Eve Lone Cleanser, I was shocked, guys. I had a sample of this. And I tried it, and it was literally the most nourishing, wonderful cleansing experience I've ever had in my life. It comes with like a little muslin cloth that you can like use to wipe your face off with, and it's gorgeous. And so I would recommend it if you guys want to spend a little bit extra. Um, I just have so much skincare right now. I really don't plan on picking this up, but I thought it was very beautiful and luxurious. There's also a gift set if you guys are interested in getting a few different products from them. I kind of want to try this Clarins Instant Lip Light Comfort Oil, but honestly, I'm not like a huge fan of lip oils. I've heard really good things about it, but I just really, you know, I'm just going to take it off right now because it's really not something I need. I've heard really, really, really good things about this Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Um, but it's $80, and again, it's just a face mask, so I don't know. I'm not really sure if I want to invest that right now because I have so many masks. This just looked like a cool idea. It's the Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. I thought that was really cool. Maybe I'll get it. I don't think so, though, because I don't really have a lot of acne. Um, it's usually hormonal, and honestly, I haven't broken out in a long time, so... Not planning on picking that up. Now we're going back to the first page. So let me scroll down to the bottom here. So I kind of want to try out this foundation, but I have a feeling that it's not going to be the right undertone, like medium yellow undertone. That sounds too light. Red is going to look gross on me because I don't have a red undertone. Medium yellow orange undertone, that scares me because I don't have an orange undertone. And then medium orange undertone, I don't have medium dark orange like this looks scary it looks like a mandarin so honestly I'm gonna just take this off because I know none of those colors are gonna work for me I've also always really been interested in trying out the Smashbox Studio skin 15 hour hydrating foundation the word hydration for me in the winter time is like music to my ears so yeah it's been on my list for a while but I just haven't picked it up and I don't really think I will in this sale either but I'm just going to keep it there, you know, as a reminder. Double Wear is one of my favorite foundations, so I just always keep it there just in case. 
to remind myself to buy it. Um, here's another Jo Malone scent I'm considering. Um, this Stila set I was going to get, but then I realized what they did with this is there's three of the glitter and glow shades, and then they came out with a shimmer and glow shade, or, or they came out with a new formula called Shimmer and Glow. I'm not so jazzed about the shimmer and glow situation, so I'm like, mm, do I really want to pay $45? And keep in mind, I have two of these in the full size, and I rarely ever hardly use them, so I'm having a hard time justifying that price point. So I don't think I'll end up buying that. But again, I'm just keeping it there. Just, you know, in the back of my mind. Another Jo Malone fragrance. This is like a someday situation. I don't really need a powder brush. Nor do I need a La Mer powder brush. Like $80 for a powder brush. That's a little bit ridiculous. But I just have it there for fun. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to take it off. Because I really don't need that. This is the Becca Priesky Glow Face Palette. I was toying with the idea of maybe picking this up, but honestly, I really don't need it. If you guys don't have any other Becca products or Becca palettes, I would recommend getting one of these palettes to try it out because it's a great way to try out multiple products from the brand. But you guys, I have so many of the Becca highlighters, blushes, bronzers. I really don't need another palette, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off as well. Um, this is a little Laneige skincare kit. That I was considering getting but honestly I got a little kit you'll see it in my friends and family haul where it had like the sleeping mask and a um, lip mask overnight lip mask and they were both so so I was not impressed so I don't think I want to pick up any more of their skincare um, this is a face mask magic face mask set I really like these um, just because you basically end up getting like a free mask but I have so many face masks, I don't need that. I really wanted to get this kilowatt highlighter. This is the one in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. But I panicked during the friends and family sale and ended up buying Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And that's like way, way too dark for me. It's like almost pink. Like it's like me putting pink eyeshadow on my cheekbones. So I'm planning on returning that. I'm so bummed. And now I don't know if I should get Mean Money and Hustle Baby or if this, if I should go with like one of these shades. I don't know. Or my, I might just return it and just not look back. I think that's what I will ultimately end up doing. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. This is like a limited edition packaging. I'm not buying this. I, I don't know why. It's just so pretty. It's so gold, you know. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Cream Smooth Brighten Cream. Sorry, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream Smooths, Brightens, and Depuffs. I actually have a sample of this and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to leave it on here. I'm not going to buy this sale, but I'm just going to leave it on here as a reminder. So if I feel like, you know, buying a new eye cream, I can come back and refer to this. I recently tried a L'Occitane um, cream like sample and it was so good that I am so tempted to try some of their little minis. So I have a few of those scattered through here. I don't think I'll actually end up getting any of those but I always toy with the idea of getting like their hand creams or like this little trio. Um, I'm not going to get this Caudalie mask trio. I really don't need any more face masks right now. This Urban Decay palette I am not planning on getting. I just wanted to talk to you guys about it in this video. So first of all, I really don't like the packaging. I think it's so cumbersome that you have to like hold it. I feel like 100% this could drop and shatter into a billion pieces because it doesn't have like a lid that'll shut over it. So I just, I mean, I know they were trying to be different, but I wish they had like invented some kind of hinge where you could still shut the palette versus like it's sliding out. So I'm not picking this up. I just put it on my list so we could talk about it. Not planning on picking this up either. I already have one of the shades in a full size. So which one is it? I have Kitten Karma, I believe, in the full size. So I'm like, mm, I'm not going to spend any more money on these glitter and glows just because I really don't need them. Now, I did actually pick these up. I feel bad because I picked them up for full price, but I was so freaking excited for these ColourPop palettes. And, you know, it's crazy because $26 doesn't seem like too much. But then both palettes were $26, so I ended up pay paying $52 for the two palettes, which 
is pretty, pretty outrageous for ColourPop, so these palettes better knock my freaking socks off. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take this off my loves list because I already have that palette. Looks like this is out of stock, and I really don't need this because I have the Sunday Riley Luna Oil, and this True Blue Skin Clarifying Duo has the same ish ingredients, so I won't be getting that. I don't want to get this either. Um, even though it looks like a nice trio, I just don't need it. This brain dr dust is like a dietary supplement powder situation. It's a new thing that Sephora is carrying, and I just put it on there because I'm like, mm, should I try it? But really, I'm not going to because I'm so lazy. I hate taking any kind of supplements. I also bought like the Mood Bird or something. They have like little pills, like happy pills that they sell on Sephora's website. But I bought them and I never took them. So they're just like drying away in the bottom of a drawer somewhere. So that's definitely a regret of mine. I really want to get one of these Huda highlighting palettes. I really, 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 really don't need any more highlighters. But these do look really beautiful and I've really been enjoying Huda's brand recently. So we'll see. No guarantees I might buy something from her. Um, this is the Sephora Multi-Masking Mania Clay Mask Blockbuster set. I haven't tried any of these, so I'm super curious. At first, I, saw, I thought these were hair masks for some reason, but it turns out that they're face masks. So I'm super curious. Maybe I'll get this set. might be a fun way to try it out. This is something from Kiehl's. It's their Midnight Must Haves. And I've never tried anything from the Kiehl's brand, so I thought it might be fun to pick up a set but honestly I just see now that it's $76 and I really don't need any more skincare so I'm going to pass on that. This Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment is one of the few Glam Glow masks I have not tried and this is a multi-targeted multi-sensorial multi targeted multi -sensorial quick result brightening treatment for radiant youthful looking skin. That sounds right up my alley. I would love for my skin to be brighter and tighter. So I'm contemplating picking this up. I have gone through many of the Super Mud and I have the blue one. I've used the black one. I've used the purple one. So I've used a lot of their masks, um, but I'm curious for this one because I heard somebody talk about it in their recommendations list. So yeah, super curious for that. This Dr. Jarred Dermaclear Transform Foam Clay Trio I heard somebody on YouTube talk about and she compared one of these masks to the Super Mud Mask and this is only $35 for three of these. So I'm curious to try the brand. I have used some of Dr. Jarred's sheet masks and I really liked them. So I don't know. We'll see. I might pick this up. So I see here I have another Sephora Collection Cray for Clay um, face mask set here. And if I had to put pick between the two. I think I would get the bigger one, so I'm just going to unlove this and keep the big one on there. This Marc Jacobs Iconic Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette, I just thought it was really pretty. I already got Scandalust in the Friends and Family sale. That's the one I really wanted, but I kind of have my eye on this one because I just thought it looked really beautiful, but actually I think maybe I was looking for this plain one called Smartorial. There's just something so simplistic about this palette, but it looks so beautiful. Actually, no, this is called Glambition, I believe. There's something so beautiful about it. So I think I meant to buy this one, not the other one. This is not the one I wanted, so I'm going to unlock that one because I don't really see myself wearing any like dark greens in on my eyes. Gosh, I'm making some real moves here, guys. This I literally just want... These Coconut Kapari Kisses just because I love coconut so much. Um, but I have a bunch of the Glossier Bomb.coms to get through. So realistically, I probably don't need that. Um, I saw Liv from Liv Loves Her Makeup try this mask out. And she made it sound really interesting. But again, I don't need it. So I'm just going to unlove it. I think this is the shade I need in the Huda Faux Filter Foundation. But it is sold out, so I don't know if it'll come back in stock in time um, before the VIB sale ends. But I do remain hopeful, so I just have that on here. These are some of the Kat Von D lipsticks. 
I'm considering, I wanted to add some more shades to my collection of nudes, but honestly, what I think I'm going to do is buy Lolita 2 in a full size. I have Lolita in a full size, but I don't have Lolita 2 in a full size. I just have it in the little mini set that she released the first time around. Um, so I'm excited to have a full size of Lolita 2 because that is one of my all-time favorite nude shades. And then Kat Von D just launched like a four pack of these like um, all pro some of the proceeds go to like farm animals or something like that. And she released a kit for $80. And of course, lo and behold, midday Trend Mood announces that all those shades will be available individually on November 14th. So Kat Von D's a little sketchy like that. Sometimes I feel like she does some sketchy things that I don't quite approve of, but I guess it's all business in the end of the day, so we need to be mindful of that. Um, this Tartlet Toasted eyeshadow palette, I really wanted this when I first saw sneak peeks of this eyeshadow palette, but I just feel like it looks like every other palette that's come out recently, so I'm really not that drawn to it, and that's okay. I feel like I'm like, you know, I don't need to talk myself into buying it if I don't initially feel like getting it. I'm not going to concern myself with it too much. I thought about getting this Kate Somerville Uncomplicated uh, SPF 50 Soft Focus Makeup Setting Spray because a lot of people recommend wearing an SPF even in the winter time and I honestly have not been good about that my entire life. So I thought this way might be a good way for me to incorporate SPF into my makeup routine by getting a setting spray that has a high concentration of it. So. We'll see. I don't know. It's kind of spendy. I don't know if I really need it, but I will do anything to avoid skin cancer as well. Uh, this, I think, might be the color I need for the Becca foundation, so I have that on my loves list. I don't have any of the Huda lip strobes, and I have friends that love her lip strobes, so I thought this little mini kit would be a fun way to try some of these out. The Sunday Riley Floral Hydroactive Cellular Face Oil. This is the other oil I want from Sunday Riley. Um, like I said, hydration really gets me excited. So this says, it's a highly active hydrating face oil to improve skin elasticity and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So again, that just sounds right up my alley. I feel like I wouldn't mind having a full-size bottle of that. Here are more of the cream lip stains I want to try. These Huda Mini uh, matte uh, like little collections are so fun. I just got the Nude Love edition because I really wanted the shade Girlfriend. So I was thinking of adding the brown edition as well as the red edition to my collection. I'm not really a fan of pinks. I have Trophy Wife somewhere in my makeup collection. I very rarely reach for it, but I love the shades Bombshell and Trendsetter from Huda. So I'm interested in, you know, picking up more of her liquid matte minis. This is the mother of all Sephora sheet masks and Sephora mask collection. So I'm thinking this is the one I'm ultimately going to get because there's just so many fun little goodies in here. Um, yeah, so that's the one I'll get, I think, over the other ones I've shown you guys in my loves list. This Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the White was a recommendation from Liv, uh, from Liv Loves Her Makeup, and I'm like, you know, it was not gonna hurt to have a white concealer. I sometimes do other people's makeup, and I think this white concealer would be a nice way for me to have an option to lighten concealers I currently have. Because a lot of the people that live in my area have really, really light skin. So, yeah, I think it's kind of an awesome idea that Liv gave me. So, I think I'm going to pick that up. I've never had an advent calendar, so I'm kind of eyeing this one by L'Occitane. Just because I had just mentioned that, you know, I really like their stuff. And look at how much stuff you get in this little advent calendar. And I just think it would be a fun way for me to, like, celebrate the holidays. A little gift to myself. Um, I bought this Dr. Jart mask set last year, and I recently used this green one right here, and it was so good and hydrating and wonderful that I'm considering getting this set too because I really liked those. I want to get this little lemon drop daily because I have the big one, and I love it. I'm actually going to get one of the bigger sizes too because I like to have 
a hairbrush in each of my bathrooms in my home and then I want the little one to carry in my purse so that's ten dollars and it's a really good brush I also wanted to get the bigger barrel uh, for the digital curling iron by dry bar I have the smaller one the one inch and I'm trying to grow up my hair so I'm thinking of getting the 1.25 instead of just the one inch um, so that once my hair gets really long I'll be able to curl with this bigger barrel. I've never tried anything from the brand Nude Sticks so I thought this set might be a fun one but honestly I really hate crayon anything <laughs> so I have a feeling I will be passing on that and not actually getting this. I always toy with the idea of getting a L'Occitane hand cream set but I never do so we'll see if I get the advent calendar though I'm gonna pass on all of this junk and just use whatever samples I get in the advent calendar um, this is another recommendation by Liv from Liv Loves Your Makeup it's the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint I'm gonna wing it on my shade here but uh, many people that I've seen talk about this describe it as really beautiful actually I don't know like this is too dark like it looks like pudding this one looks too peach, but I'm going to wing it and see because it says golden tan, medium beige, warm undertone. That like that sounds like me, but it's so hard to tell. So we'll see. I recently got the Pat McGrath Labs Perma, Perma Gel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in black. And honestly, guys, hands down the best eyeliner I've ever used. I think I might need to get a backup, to be honest. I really... Oh my god, it just glides. Like the Ardency In pencil, this Pat McGrath pencil like puts it to shame because that's how good it is. Um, so if you guys are looking for a good eyeliner and you don't mind spending a little bit more money, oh my god, it's so good. I think there's a reason Pat McGrath charges the prices that she charges. It's because her stuff is awesome. I am so excited for this. I'm really praying that it doesn't sell out before the fucking VIB sale starts because I will cry. This is the Makeup Forever face palette that they're coming out with for holiday. This thing is freaking huge. It's $150. I don't care. I just saw it on Nicole from Young, Wild & Polish. Her Snapchat, she got this from Makeup Forever and it looked amazing. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I like cannot wait. I literally want to buy it right now, but I'm like, Karen, 20% off? Like that's a huge discount off of something that cost $150. So I'm going to try my best to wait, but I really, 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 really don't want to because if it sells out, I'm going to be really freaking sad. So that's on there. And then here is the full size of that dry bar hairbrush I told you guys about. And then this is the other... Uh, Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette that I just added to my loves list and then here if we look at our cart I did start adding stuff to my cart because so the new Huda stuff comes out tomorrow and then the VIB sale starts I'm assuming at midnight or 2 p.m. central time so I'm like what are the chances like the Huda palettes will sell out tomorrow probably not very high Every palette that they've launched for holiday so far has been in stock. Nothing has sold out, so I'm not too, too worried. But currently, like, this is, like, my little cart situation. So I definitely do this, you know, a hundred times. I'll, like, add things. I'll take things out. I'll stare at the total. I'll have a little panic attack. You know, it happens. So currently at $620 once I add all the Huda eyeshadow palettes that'll be another hundred and twenty something dollars so definitely not a cheap time of the year but I'm gonna do some playing with this plus we have another sale in a couple of weeks so it's gonna be a crazy month of November God knows what other eyeshadow palettes are gonna come out as well who can keep up it's madness it's pure madness Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video somewhat useful. Let me know in the comments down below what you are planning on picking up from the VIB sale. Leave me ideas because you guys know I'm obviously shopping the sale with you and everyone can use a little bit of inspiration when it comes to makeup shopping. I hope you guys are having a great day and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, guys.